Hi everyone, welcome to a new video in GBCI Bootcamp course overview of green business certifications and programs. In this video, we will investigate the WILL rating system, WILL building standards. WILL rating system, chapter 2, lecture 4. It is not just the building, but the people in the building. We need to promote the health and well-being of the people working, living, studying, or playing in the buildings. GBCI administers the well-building standard along with other rating systems and programs. How can the built environment support human health and well-being? The World Health Organization stated that health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Our built environment has a profound impact on our health, well-being, happiness and productivity. Our built environment can shape our habits and choices. It can also regulate our sleep-wake cycle, drive us toward healthy and unhealthy choices and passively influence our health through the quality of our surroundings. There are many factors that determine the state of health. Lifestyle, health, behaviors, medical care, and genetics are some, but the largest impact is one physical and social environment. Well is a performance-based standard for measuring, certifying, and monitoring features of the built environment that impact human health and well-being. The Will Building Standard is the first building standard to focus exclusively on the health and wellness of the people in the buildings. Will takes a holistic approach to health in the built environment, addressing behavior, operations and design. The current version is Will version 1 and Will version 2 is currently in the pilot phase. The Will Building Standard is the culmination of seven years of rigorous research in collaboration with leading physicians, scientists, and industry professionals. Will was developed by integrating scientific and medical research and literature on environmental health, behavioral factors, health outcomes, and demographic risk factors that affect health with leading practices in building design and management. Will also references existing standards and best practice guidelines set by governmental and professional organizations where available in order to harmonize and clarify existing thresholds and requirements. Will was launched in October 2014 following the completion of a three-phase comprehensive expert peer review process encompassing a scientific, practitioner and medical review. The features of the Will Building Standard can be applied across many real estate sectors. However, the Will Building Standard version 1 is applicable specifically to commercial and institutional buildings. Furthermore, not all Will features apply to all buildings. Depending on the stage of construction, Will version 1 is therefore further organized into project types which takes into account a specific set of considerations that are unique to a particular building type or phase of construction. There are many project types like new and existing buildings, new and existing interiors, and core and chill. In addition to the design, construction, and operations professionals and sustainability consultants on a typical green building project. You may also have consultants and specialists in designing and testing in the areas of lighting, acoustics, naturation, fitness and wellness. Many of the project team members may be well accredited professionals. The current built programs are multi-family residential, education facilities, retail, restaurants, commercial kitchens, and also the future pilots in the development are communities, exercise facilities, public assembly, and health care. Well sets performance requirements in seven 
categories or concepts relevant to occupant health and well-being in the built environment. Air, water, nourishment, light, fitness, comfort, and mind. Air promotes clean air through reducing or minimizing the sources of indoor air pollution, requiring optimal indoor air quality to support the health and well-being of the building occupants. Strategies include removal of airborne contaminants, prevention, and purification. Water Promotes safe and clean water through the implementation of proper filtration techniques and regular testing in order for building occupants to receive optimal quality of water for various uses. Strategies include removal of contaminants through filtration and treatment and strategic placement. Nourishment It requires the availability of fresh, wholesome foods limits unhealthy ingredients and encourages better eating habits and food culture. It encourages healthy eating habits by providing occupants with healthier food choices, behavioral cues, and knowledge about nutrient quality. Light provides illumination guidelines that aim to minimize disruption to the body's circadian system enhance productivity and provide appropriate visual acuity where needed. It also requires a specialized lighting systems designed to increase alternance, enhance occupant experience, and promote sleep. Fitness It promotes the integration of physical activity into everyday life by providing the opportunities and support for an active lifestyle and discouraging sedentary behaviors. Comfort establishes requirements designed to create distraction-free, productive, and comfortable indoor environments. Solutions include design standards and recommendations, thermal and acoustic controllability, and policy implementation covering acoustic and thermal parameters that are known sources of discomfort. discomfort. Mind it requires design, technology, and treatment strategies designed to provide a physical environment that optimizes cognitive and emotional health. Here are an example of the types and credits you will find in a category. As you can see, not all are applicable to every project type, the gray boxes are blank boxes. And also there are some preconditions that are required for certifications, and there are also some optimizations that owes, but include optional technologies, strategies, protocols, design that earn points towards higher level of certification. There are 105 features divided into 7 concepts. Every and each and every feature is intended to address specific aspects of occupant health, comfort, or knowledge. Each feature is divided into parts which are often tailored to a specific building types. Features also can be performance-based or pres prescriptive standards. The performance-based standards allow for flexibility in how a project meets acceptable quantified thresholds. But the prescriptive standards require specific technologies, design strategies, or protocols to be implemented. Each well feature is designed to address issues that impact the health, comfort, or knowledge of occupants through design, operations, and behavior. The value proposition of well for an office building is improved environment for employees and clients, a return on investment, demonstration of industrial leadership and corporate communication of its values, an increased productivity for its occupants, an improved employee satisfaction and retention. So what is the value of lead for a multi-family residential building? Its improved environment for its residents, recognition and market differentiation for the property, 
an increased value of the property, a positive impact on the health of the residents, and improved energy and quality of sleep for the residents. Certification Overview Will is administered by the International Will Building Institute, IWBI, and it's a public benefit corporation whose mission is to improve human health and well-being through the built environment. IWBI has joined forces with Green Business Certification Incorporation, GBCI, the same organization that administers LEED certification, to provide third-party certification for WILL, helping to ensure that WILL and LEED certification work seamlessly. IWBI awards certification at three levels, silver, gold, and platinum. Well certification is achieved when projects demonstrate all preconditions. Higher certification levels above silver can be achieved by pursuing optimization features. Because health and wellness objectives vary from one building to the next, well provides flexibility when selecting features that best suit the project's owner goals. Silver level certification is achieved by meeting all the well preconditions applicable to the typology in all concepts. However, gold level certification is achieved by meeting all of the well preconditions as well as 40% or more of the optimization features. For platinum, it's achieved by meeting all of the well preconditions as well as 80% or more of the optimization features. A project example. In the fall of 2013, CPRE Group Incorporation's new global corporate headquarters in downtown Los Angeles became the world's first office to be well certified. In the pilot program for sure. It's designed to improve productivity, sharpen focus, increase cre creativity, speed and accuracy, and reduce absenteeism. This pilot project included a targeted focus on indoor air quality, lighting, water quality, visual equity, physical comfort, acoustics, and psychological impacts within the work environment. Synergies with LEED Both LEED and WILL are working together to optimize building performance for human health and our environment. Well works with LEED in harmony. IWBI welcomes projects to pursue LEED alongside WILL in order to promote both environmental sustainability and human health. A number of overlapping features exist between WILL and LEED which are described in detail in the appendices of the WILL building standard. The IWBI and USGBC share similar certification processes and feature credit intents particularly as related to air quality and daylighting. Because of their shared intentions, attainment of well features can help achieve certain lead credits. However, due to differences in structure and small variations in content, complying with one of the standards doesn't guarantee credit for the other. When comparing well to lead rating systems, the level of fulfillment is considered either equivalent, partial, or aligned. Equivalent, it indicates that a feature or credit has been evaluated and deemed satisfactory to achieve the complete well feature or lead credit indicated. The awarded feature or credit can be used as verification to achieve the equivalent feature or credit. Partial, it indicates the credit or feature is partially met or may contribute towards the achievement of the associated feature or credit. For example, a will part requirement may be met, but the additional parts not satisfied by lead will need to follow will requirements. The awarded lead credit can be used as verification for the parts that have been satisfied. This may also occur in the reverse. Aligned. It indicates that the entity of the credit or feature is aligned, 
but the requirements do not fully overlap. This may mean that the credit or feature is a good stepping stone for meeting the requirements, but more work may be needed to confirm achievement. Here are some samples of the equivalent credits. Earning one in one rating system achieves the corresponding credit in the other rating system. Well version 2 is currently in a pilot phase. Well version 1 has been in the market for 3 years now. Well version 2 consolidates previous iterations and pilots into one well for all project types. The new Well platform guides project teams through the development of a custom scorecard. There are 10 concepts in Well version 2. Air, water, nourishment, light, movement, thermal comfort, sound, materials, mind, and community. There are refined preconditions, still mandatory for all products, but reduced the number. Preconditions adapted to reflect new evidence and increased applicability of prescribed interventions. You can explore the standard and the attached resources. The well building standard is a free, downloadable document and a good place to get started. In addition, Guide to Well Certification describes the well certification process and policies and another guide describes the well performance and verification protocol. Sign up to receive email updates from IWPI, check out well projects, look for education opportunities on well website and on USGBC website, locate healthy building experts to support the well certification process, you can also find the directory on the website, become a well AB, well accredited professional, getting involved with the well community, to allow the employees, clients, and the community to feel that the health is the priority. Thank you for listening to this video, and in the next video we will talk about SITES rating system. It's SITES version 2 building standards. See you in the next video.